How to edit Framework REST APK using MT File Manager to enable Double Tap to Wake. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And those of you who are into installing GSI on your devices, you would know you know there are certain features which you can enable by editing the Framework REST APK. And for that, you do need an application called MT File Manager. Now, in this video, I am going to show you how you can edit the Framework Race APK to enable Double Tap to Wake. However, you can use this tutorial as a base to, you know, learn how to edit APK files using MT File Manager. So, this is the screen which you will be greeted with when you open MT File Manager. You do have to give it specific permissions. And once that is done, if your device is rooted, then you can always go to the location of the APK directly and edit it in there. But for me right now, this device is not rooted. So, I have transferred the Framework Press APK to the download folder now all you need to do is select this file you will get another pop-up here and what do you do you select view so these here are the contents of this apk file now before we jump over to double tap to wake another change which you sometimes have to make is change the power profile xml so that it matches that of your device how do you do that well for starters you will need the original framework rest apk from your device so let us assume this is the one which is the one from my device so this here is another tab or another pane so if i tap on this i can perform the same operation i go view now herein these are two separate apks on the right hand side is the one which we need to modify and on the left say is the one from which we need the content or the power profile xml so for starters you need to find that so we will go into race and herein you need to go into the xml folder so here is the xml folder and herein you should have something called power underscore profile dot xml now on the other pane go to the same path because that is where the power profile xml should be so again res xml and you should have your power profile xml over here as well so here it is now what if you want to replace very easy press and hold on this one and then you have to say move now do note that right now my device is not rooted so it is not giving me the option to move but you should be able to move it and then it is going to save it now jumping over to or going back to your option of enabling double tap to wake so scroll up tap on the folder it will take you one level up and then we are going to repeat the same thing so now we are at the apk again how do you enable double tap to wake you need to go to the you know bools.xml is what you would have heard a lot now how do you find this bools.xml because it is clearly not in res and xml so we need to select this resources.arsc file on the next screen select arsc editor now it is going to open the file for us so of course if you want to search you can search i do not know how to search on this one so we are going to go into the android folder right and then herein we will go into the bool folder at the bottom and herein tap on the first option of bool bam here it is these are all the configs which you can enable or disable so we are specifically looking to enable or disable double tap to wake now for the purpose of recording this video i of course do know the number of double tap to wake but if you do not then your option is to go through this list and find it i think for me it should be at 142 so here it is config support double tap to wake right now it is set as false and the type is boolean now me personally i would not mess with the type which is defined over here and all i am going to do is say change this to true and select ok and then we can go back keep going back and it is giving us a warning what do you want to do do you want to save and exit and we say save and exit so it is telling me now that the file has been modified do you want to update it i say okay and leave auto sign unchecked and there it is 
now when i go back here it is you will notice i have another file with the name as framework apk.bak so this is the file which was the original one and the one with only apk is the one wherein we have enabled double tap to wake now if you were rooted doing this in your system framework folder then it will be there itself so you just performed an in place modify for me I personally prefer to you know push the files using ADB using TWRP recovery or just via root so use whatever method you feel like using but the important thing to note is that you do have a backup of your original file in case you run into any boot loops any other issues all you need to do is delete this one and rename this one back to dot apk and you should be good to go and there it is peeps that is how you edit the framework race apk file using mt file manager and hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you